Yora and Gaius are two amazing espers you can potentially add to your roster. But, what if you have neither and can only afford to have one? That's what this video is trying to help you with, deciding on who you should spend your hard earned wish stones on. So, let's dive into it. You got some explaining to do! In order to decide which esper to pick, there are three questions you must ask yourself. And no, I'm not gonna just tell you who to pick, but I'll give you a framework to work with, then give you my recommendation and why. Sounds good? Okay. The first question you need to ask yourself is, where are you in the game? Are you a relatively new player or have you been playing for a while? A newer player's needs are very different compared to someone who has been playing for like, say, half a year? Yeah, no shit Sherlock! If you're new to the game, you may not have access to high level gear, which means that you're probably hoping that Leora or Gaius can help you progress quicker. But if you've been playing for a while, you probably have a good idea on what you need to progress and you're just here to get a second opinion and support the channel. If so, boop the like button. <laughs> the second question you need to ask yourself is, how likely are you to pull a dupe to wrestle them? I mean, let's face it, this is whale territory and you're probably not one, if not you would have pulled for both, right? Possibly. But don't worry, I'm here to help you figure out where that precious 100 wish stone should be invested towards. That's cute. The third and final question you need to ask yourself is, how future proof are these aspers? Are their kit and rezo unique and one of a kind? Safeguarding them from being power crept? This should be something you should ask yourself all the time when you are reading a new Esper's kit. Include me! Okay, now that the framework is out of the way, let's talk about the two Esper's in question. Let's start with Leora. She's great at clearing content if you have gear to support it. Huh? Her kit is quite gear dependent, and if your crit rate is not up to scratch, you will fall short. Bruh. However, she functions perfectly fine without Rezo. But keep in mind that her damage output improves tremendously with it. Bitch. Also, her Rezos are very selfish with her R2 and R4 being damage amplifiers for herself. Ew. Now, let's talk about Gaius. Gaius is very easy to gear. He has 100 accuracy in normal mode and 100% crit rate in God King mode. You can have the worst luck in the multiverse and the shittest gear in the world and still build him a nuker or controller just fine. He is not rezo dependent, but if you get him to rezo 2 in the future, he gives your team 20% accuracy in normal mode and 20% crit rate in god king mode. Nice. He's also been tried and true to speed through almost every content the game has to provide. I mean, come on, did you expect any less from the drip god himself? Not really! Now, I recommend that if you have neither Aspers, pick Gaius. What? Why? Because he's been tried and true by the community to be an amazing content clearer, he is very forgiving and does not take a whole lot to be busted, he just improves your overall quality of life in the game when it comes to content clearing. Excellent. Trust me, I've played the game without Gaius for a minimum of 420 days and clearing content has never been easier since his debut. But it ain't much to brag about. If you're curious about what they bring to the table, check out these shorts where I give my explanation on these two under 60 seconds and I'll see you there. 